Hi and welcome to the premiere of Bridesmaids here in the lovely cinema, the Savoy in Dublin City Centre. I am so excited, it's one of the hottest summer films I think of this year. So we're all really looking forward to it, Killed Out TV viewers, stay tuned as we meet the star to the cast of Bridesmaids. How are you? It's French in Kildare, right? Yeah. It's exactly, it's, yeah. What's your name? French. Uh, things are good, yeah. Apparently, if it rains in a wedding, they'll have no tears in the march. That, there you That's go. Nice. So thank you, Jesus, for these <laughs> horrible rain. So what was it like to completely different character? Oh, fantastic. Are you looking forward to the film? I am. You know what? This is one of the premieres that I'm actually going to sit in and watch the film. Like, if I'm honest, I'm going to be <laughs> Don't be telling people that. I'm joking. <laughs> thank you so much. So do you. Thank you. Beautiful dress. So, have you been co wrote this film? Yes. Yes, it is. Very good. I haven't seen the whole thing. I think the director's very good. Yeah, I, I think they're good. I'm so, so happy. It's like working with six leading leading ladies. You know, it's it's not a bad job. Fun fact I found out about you. You're Mr. Eugene Poole and Sabrina's here, right? Yes, I was uh, Sabrina's uh, biology teacher. Is it crazy on set with six ladies around you all the time? It's just hair and makeup everywhere? Well, just the... Uh, I had to dumb down a lot. Just and you were saying that there's no, like, you didn't have to do any hair and makeup. Was it very, very girly on set? You know what? Uh, I mean, it was because there were so many women. Yeah, you making but... these movies that are like Hollywood, all over the world. What do you think, is, what do you think they think about it? Uh, do you know, they're, uh, they're all really, really supportive, and um, I think they think it's mental. So my guest joining me here today in the lovely venue of the Riverbank Arts Centre here in Kildare is one of Ireland's leading economic commentators. He's also a multi-talented, working as a broadcaster, best-selling author, and now he has us in a theatre in Ireland. So, David, tell us, tell us why we're here in a theatre in Kildare. Because I think, Laura, that economics is far... Would you put your money where your mouth is and... Go into politics and say, "Look, this is this needs to change, and I'm going to change it." Well, I think you know there, there does come a time. I have to talk to my missus about. Do it, and you move on. Well, fingers crossed that will be the idea of the government anyway. That that will be the mentality of people in Ireland. You've got a vote, I will promise now that you've convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> You are joining us here today at the Discover Ireland Dublin Horse Show, which takes place in the RDS. The event takes place over four days, but believe me, there's a lot of work that goes in behind the scenes before the four days of events. We are very lucky this year to have the Ukrainian Cossacks joining us for the very first time here in Ireland, and we're about to catch up with them to find out what it takes to get to their level of skill and ability in the practice area and before they go on for the main arena. So if you take a look around here, the Industries Hall here in the RDS has been transformed into Aladdin's cave of stalls. We've got fashion, we've got pottery over here, and we've got mops, we've got jewellery, we've got everything you can find. And what we even have is after a long day maybe of horse riding, or you're out in stables mucking around all day and you need a bit of comfort, we've even got some massage slippers shaped like a horse. I think I need to go after all the walking around today. So as you can see, there's something so different here for the Dublin Horse Show for everyone to see. They were, the Ukrainian Cossacks were thrilling, really exciting to watch, and such talent, like talent it takes to do the stunts that they do, something I've never seen before. So as we've seen here today, that Discover Ireland Dublin Horse Show, it's not just all about horse racing, it's an absolute fantastic day for the whole family. There's something here for everyone, if it's trade stands, there's food shops, there's obviously horse racing to watch and there's fashion involved. Everything here for anyone young or old, it's a fantastic day out and it's a very different day out. So if you didn't get here this year, definitely keep an eye out for it next year. So joining me here today is an Irish comedian that has been described as brilliantly and wickedly funny. His impersonations of Pat Kenny to name but one are infamous and if you're lucky, you may even catch him performing on Temple Bar. 
It's David McSavage, thank you very much for joining me here today. So that's how yeah. you kind of yeah. got all your stuff together. You started doing it on in Temple Bar. Yeah, I was playing there, I think, from around. Sorry, don't step over the line. I pole vault over it. Was, is pull. that how you'd sum up your type of comedy? Yeah, well, I mean, I think in terms Speaking of... Speaking of venues. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of venues, where would you be your favourite place to gig or perform? Um... Uh, well, you know, th there is that thing when you're when you're doing. Sure, I'll put this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do. Don't be scared. Mm -hmm. A quick fire. Sure, no problem. Quick fire question, if that's all right with you. Yeah. So the rules of the game are you have to answer as quick as you can. Sure. Don't think about it too long. No. It's only five or six questions. Nothing too serious. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't think about stuff before saying it anyway. Oh, that's good. That's that's exactly what we need for this game. <laughs> so that's fine. Okay. Number one. What was your childhood nickname? <laughs> Lead horse. Letters. Yeah, when I was a kid. Yeah. What the f why are you laughing at that? Not funny, sorry. What, but you are laughing it's at like that. It's like years of pain. Yeah. Why? Because I, I, when I walked, I, my bum stuck okay. out. This is so What's horrible. your favourite exotic animal? <laughs> pa pa the parrot. A parrot? Okay. Because I look like a parrot. Oh, no you don't. I do. A shower or a bath? Well, a, sh a, ba well, a shower. A shower? Why? You now, a night in with a takeaway in a movie or a night out on the town? Um, well, I do love a film, a DVD, you know, wrapping up and just watching DVD. So you heard it here first, the viewers of Killed Air TV. You got to know a little bit more about Dave Savage that you might not have thought you might have known about. But if you want to see more of him, check him out in the Riverbank Arts Centre on the 16th of June. And if you're lucky enough, Killed Air TV are giving away two free tickets. And all you need to do is log on to Facebook on Killed Air, Killed Air TV's Facebook and comment and say why Dave McSavage is your favourite comedian. <laughs> Hi, I'm at the Bewley's Cafe on Grafton Street where 16 performers from the Street Performer World Championships are all upstairs waiting to talk to me. I'm really excited. Let's go and see what they have. Well, introducing Goliath. Thank you for joining me today. No worries, thanks. All the way from Australia? Yeah, Melbourne, Australia. And apparently you're the world's smallest strongman. That's correct. That's an amazing title to have. Where did this interest for being strong come from? Um, well, being shorter than everyone like else. What does um, your act, sorry, involve exactly? Um, well, it's a whole bunch of uh, feats of strength that I do, so a whole bunch of other crazy stunts. You lift people up over your head? Yes, I do. Do you get people from the audience to come up and get be lifted? Yes. I'll pick a lucky person from the audience every time and yeah, get them up there. Do you think you could lift me? Yeah, of course. Do you think I should give it a go? I think, okay, you're not going to drop me. No, not at all. Okay, right, let's try this. I'm introducing Mr. Spin with a very special mini guest with him today, his son, Ani, isn't that yes, right? That's right. You told so me just before this that you're, you will be juggling your own son. Yeah, sometimes I juggle my own son. So I'm standing here with the mistress of charm, apparently, and her show has been described as beautifully riv riveting from start to finish. Introducing Lindsay Benner, from all the way from the US of A. Yes. Hello. Tell me a bit about your act. Um, my act is called The Book of Love. I've noticed in this competition that you're the only woman. Do you get that a lot in, in is there many um, women street performers out there? There are a lot more than there used to be. 